here we go. This is going to be our first toss of the day. We're going to see just how well this net penetrates. It's still Saturday the 4th. So let's kind of do it at an angle. We're going to see just how much we can get in one pull. Okay, throw the front out right to the edge of the tires there and just let the back go. Uh -huh. One, two, three. Let it settle for a bit. Let's see. Let it go down. See, it's still going down. Don't pull yet, Jerry. Let it pull down a little bit. Looks like the got held up a little there. The outside looked like it went down, but the styrofoam in there got it. So I'll give you a hand if it gets to be too much here. But let's see what we got. I want to see just how much this net can hold. Yeah, that darn styrofoam. If we would have got underneath those styrofoam containers, we would have got a lot more probably a blessing it looks like it's going to be see that's the problem is I can't put the knots in the rope where we need it oh my it is it's going to get the big bag too okay <laughs> don't fall in now give me a bite here too oh my oh that's too much well one guy said we needed a winch I think we do if we had a winch Now we got to keep going vertical on it. I think that big sack of tracks get in there too. I don't know. Hey, we did. Holy smokes, what's that? Snake. No, it's an eel of some kind. No, it is. It's a snake. He's not too happy there. Let him go back in. Hey. Yeah, oh, baby. He's not too happy. He says, that was a scare, huh? <laughs> well, let's pull this back on itself. And let you get the rest with your basket net. You just pull it like this, remember? Open it up and then pull it back on itself. Yeah, we got too much debris in here this time. We got logs and everything. But we got that big sack out of there in one pole. So that's one pole with the snet. It did pretty good, actually. Well, we got a log, coconuts, and everything in there, so... Maybe we'll go ahead and do the roundup here. If we could round everything up at one end, it'd be kind of a toss-up between your net and mine. That was definitely too heavy for one person. Anyway, we're going to scoop out some of this white stuff. I need to run a test on it, see if it's algae or what. Looks like someone had a big canal latte here this morning, so we'll see what's going on. Anyway, we'll be back. Hope you like the 4K, because it's going to take all night to load. Back to 1080-30, we're going to go another scoop of the big net here. I should have been spreading it out, but I'll go ahead and get my helmet on and see how fast we can reset this thing. That's the only drawback of this. I've got to find that knot. Where's the knot at? And that goes in my hand here. Let's see how fast we can get this guy reset, because it's not like Jerry's. Jerry's resets really quick. This one here takes a little bit more finagling around. Hopefully we don't have any links that stuck. Got a lot of suggestions on how to keep the links from hanging up in there. Well, that's pretty good. It wasn't too bad. Look at this one here. Okay, that's good enough. Let's get her out there. That wasn't so bad after all. Okay, here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Hey! <laughs> Should have tied it to my foot. We almost lost it there. Well, let's see what we get on that one. I don't think we had, I think we got around the styrofoam that time, Jerry. I just can't get the knots. We could go with a bigger rope, I guess. The links can still, maybe a three eighths would be a little bit better. That's going to be. A serious haul. Uh, again. The snake's in there again. <laughs> Not again! Here we go for another ride. Yeah. Holy smokes! <laughs> well, we definitely could use the winch. I got a 12 volt electric boat winch, but really, that's a good workout. You know, the labor 
is healthy for you. Let's pull it back up on this a little farther first. Okay, let's pull it back on itself. Wow, we got a good haul that time, Jerry. Look at that. Two scoops, 10 minutes, and we're in business. Now, this one's going to be a few more kilos, even though it really wasn't that big. Is the snake in there again? I don't know if those guys, I don't think he's poisonous or anything. I don't have to worry about it. But I think three drop nets and we'll have this whipped. We've got a lot of trash in that one. So why don't you go ahead and round up another batch. We'll do it one more time and then we'll, I'll let you go ahead and use your net to finish up the fine tuning here. So anyhow, seems to be working better now. Put a little time in closing a couple of the problem links there. I didn't use epoxy, I just used muscle. This needed to be closed shut a little better. Yeah, I'll let Jerry help stretch that out. Get a few little entanglements now and then, like this little hanger here. It's got all the right hooks on it to say, I don't want to leave. We'll get it out of there. Okay. Come on, let us go, let it go. That's my little girl's favorite song. Let it go. Okay, we're about ready for business. I'll let Jerry grab that end and stretch it out better together. And get that coconut out of there. That looks good. Let's drop it. Maybe bring it away from the boom a little bit there. You got a hitchhiker on there. <laughs> we'll pull it back from the kaboom just a little bit towards the edge here. I think we can get most of that in the next drop. So we got three devices now. Let's let's bring that in a little closer here, Jerry. Get it away from the boom. Just suck it all up the closest we can get in here. We're not going to be able to reach out that far and it might hang up on the boom. So. Get that one stick out of there on the far end on the outside. Push the stick back and we'll be ready. Well, that's close enough. Let's drop it. Let's do it. Let's see how lucky we get this time. That might be 80% of the trash and one couple scoops here this one here seems to be got a stick in it and it's not making it too happy here there we go there we go still a little bit not stretching out there let go the you're you're holding me up there stretch it out there wonder why it wasn't going okay where'd the knot go this oh, that's a knot. We gotta flip it around then. Okay. Alright, flip it around this way. That way. Now ah, we're getting it. That's the only problem. This, this doesn't reset that quickly. With the amount of time it saves, <laughs> you can spend an extra five minutes here and let me get this stretched out a little more here. You gotta let the ropes go through it there, Jerry. Okay, that's big enough. Let's go ahead and drop her. One last time here. We're gonna kaboom the kaboom. Ready? Get your hand up on the back side a little higher there. There you go, okay. One, two, three. Well, we didn't get all the way around it, but I'll get a good part of it. You might be able to get this one. I don't think there's any big debris in there. Yeah, we missed a little bit on the outside edge, but I think you can get the rest of that with your net now. Not quite as heavy, but still. I think, I think we'll try a 3 h rope on that if it will fit. 
don't fall in. <laughs> I'm worried about it. It gets hooked on my shoe. I can see it dragging me down in. <clears throat> okay. A little farther up. Let's pull it out on top of itself here and see what happens here. Look out for that snake. You got him a third time, he might get a little upset. Take a bite out of it. I should have my garbage gloves on. I didn't really plan on getting dirty today. I was just going to let you use your net, but after looking at that, I thought, ah. Drop net and work better. And there we go. So that's what three poles, Jerry. Big difference. Big improvement over the yellow net. A little bit over Jerry's net, but Jerry still got purpose because now he can do some picking and grinning here and get the last little bit. That was three poles, and she's almost done. Oh, I'm gonna go get a sample of this goop here. I need to see what it is. I want to take some home. Ah, kind of a mini lab there. I got a microscope and some beakers and a few chemicals. Let's see what this stuff is. I don't know what it is. I need to find something to put it in. Is there a container there? Yeah. Okay. I don't know what this is. That's some strange looking stuff. Hey. What do you think it is? Like no dust. It's soft, whatever it is. Yeah. Let me taste it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> That's what you do for like oil and stuff. Way. Okay. Well, we're going to get a sample of that and finish up. We'll be back. Like Stage three, sifting through, removing the natural debris. We got quite a bit of it this time. We're gonna have a better haul than the other day, I think. I just, I told them to be sure and use the rake on this because we're not sure if that snake's hiding out in there or not. And he's gonna be a little angry if we pull them out three times in a row. So anyway, we'll be back. It's still Saturday the 4th, I'm letting Jerry finish up. Sometimes I still come down here and sit. This is the canal where I probably spent a good part of my life since May. I've been down here every day, sometimes twice. And I would go to Jollibee and I would pick up my breakfast and come down here by the ocean and sit. I used to have a fabric bottle boom, my second one, actually, yeah, this third one actually. And it stretched from that little tree up there, down past the sandbar, to that little tree right there. And actually, it worked pretty good. I could actually collect some of it on the sandbar, but it got weak and died. There's the snake right there, a small one. There must be a little family of snakes in here now. We got one on the clean out. So anyway, just wanted to give you a little update. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We can still leave, a, you know, some comments would help and a little help from Patreon and GoFundMe would go a long ways. I'm going to try and get Jerry on government payroll. I might have a chance with that. That will free up some money so I can build some more kabooms in Bohol and all over the Philippines hopefully one day. But it's a beautiful day on Camigan Island. Only a piece of a TV and one piece of foam and one bottle on the beach today compared to what this was six months ago. It's a night and day difference. So Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll go check on Jerry in a bit and we'll do another weigh in. We got a little bit more this time. But I can see there's still a lot back up in the canal. That wasn't a full harvest yet either. Here we are, the 
final nitpicking with Mr. Nitpicker. And I can't believe this guy. He picks out every little bottle cap and piece of saran wrap and wrappers. And the big bottles and glass are pretty easy, but he's very picky. So our weigh-in is truly trash. There is no debris in our weigh-in at all. So it's fairly accurate on just how much trash we're pulling out of this thing. So we'll do a weigh-in a little bit later. We're going to let this dry out just a little bit. Jerry's going to bag it, and I'll be back later for the weigh-in. Jerry, how to do the weigh-in. It's Saturday. I believe it's still the 4th. What do we got here for our first bag? It's what? 3.58. 3.58. Almost 3.6 kilos. We put them in smaller bags. Zero it out. Okay, bag number two. He's got it easy. I had to do the power lifting yesterday. This one here is 6.5857, okay. Two more to go. That was the trash, right? And then we got three trash and one recyclable, or what? And we got 7.86. 7 8, and we got one more to go, all bottles. LGU will like that. It's very visible in the clear sacks. I got to get more of those. Mm. Yeah. Throw it out. Mm. And here we go. Just bottles alone. We got 2.4 2. kilos. Okay. And that's our Saturday, December 4th, I believe, way out. And the kaboom is looking good. Beaches are looking good. We'll be back. Don't forget to like and subscribe and look us up in the description for Patreon and GoFundMe. We're still looking to hire one more employee to make this a little easier on Jerry and I. Now it's time to pack it off to the recycle cage.